Today is the first day of Pride Month, and I hope that everybody is having a uh, wonderful time and uh, doing some gay stuff or straight stuff. doesn't matter. I'm not going to judge you. But I have a bit of an announcement. Uh, so uh, as of today, I released my book, Catalyze, The Rise of LGBTQ Plus Movements in the Middle East and North Africa. And it should be available everywhere. I think that some storefronts are going to get it within the coming days. You should be able to get it, though, on Kindle and the Apple Store. But this is basically uh, what I've been working on for a very, 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 very long time. And, you know, there was a version of this available for Patreon members, but I decided to go through, revamp it, create a second edition and an all new preface about the state of LGBTQ plus rights in the West. So I'm talking about the whole world. But for the most part, the focus of this book is going to be on queer rights movements, in the Middle East and North Africa. And, you know, there's a number of reasons why I wanted to release this now. I think that it's important that we humanize people in the Middle East and North Africa because in America, there's a lot of ignorance there. And people don't actually realize that the movements that we're seeing grow, which I tracked in this book and am one of the first people in all of political science to do that, credit to myself, not to toot my own horn, but the, the movements that we're seeing, these LGBTQ plus movements, they're in their post Stonewall eras and nobody even realizes that this is happening yet. Or I should say few people realize that this is happening. And I think it's really cool, actually, because, you know, in response to talking about, you know, Gaza and Palestine, I always see the response you should try to go to Gaza. They wouldn't like you there. You wouldn't be welcomed. And there's this assumption that like they're going to tackle me if I walk through the streets. Um, and homophobia is obviously a problem there and in Middle Eastern countries and North African countries. It's a problem all throughout the world. But I think it's important that we don't erase the people who are queer, who are fighting for their rights right now. And there are thousands of them. And these movements are so advanced and it's so frustrating to me that nobody cares about them. Tunisia, for example, they had their first gay presidential candidate last year or the year before that. I think that's really fucking cool, right? Now, there's a lot of leftist infighting, even within the LGBTQ plus community here. I detail a lot of this in the book, and I think it's absolutely fascinating. So I decided to re-release this, let everybody know what's going on there, updated information, data, and uh, yeah, it's available right now. So I hope you all check it out. Uh, I promise to not be super insufferable with the book because whenever somebody releases a book, they're very annoying and they plug it every chance they get and I'll plug it. But I really want you to check it out. I'm super stoked about it. This is my passion project. I've been working on this forever and I'm just so excited to have you all read it. And I'm curious to know your thoughts. If you like it, let me know. If you think it's shitty, I would be happy to hear that feedback too because I can still update it. I've, I can make a third version. But yeah, this is the first time this has been released for uh, everyone to read. So check it out, okay? Buy the book, read the book, and uh, let me know your thoughts about it.